I will show you how to spot Sudoku W Wings effortlessly with my top five solving tips. Click below if you want to give this puzzle a go. And with that, it's solving time. So tip number one, W Wings are found near the end of the puzzle. So let's find as many restrictions as you can until you get stuck. And so let's look at the ones. You might notice with these two ones and this one, you can solve a one here in block eight. And then take these two ones and this one. And you see there's two places for a one right here. But if you look where these two ones and the one that cuts across row three goes, you can solve this cell for one, leaving one spot left for a one in block two. Greetings, friend. This is puzzle three from my latest rewards puzzle pack called Wings of Logic, the right way to solve. It's themed after the Wright Brothers. Each puzzle requires a W wing to solve. And I'll show you how to easily find the W wing in this puzzle. Also, keep track of the blue cells and what their values are because they're needed for the final solution to the entire pack. Can't do any more solving with the ones. Let's look at the twos. With these twos, you can put Snyder twos here because only two possibilities in block six for the twos. Nothing else to do right there. The threes, we have Snyder threes in block three. And then with these two threes here in block eight. Just kind of find those restrictions, getting ourselves to the point where you get stuck and you'll need more advanced strategies. The fours, with these two fours, you got Snyder fours in block four. And then a little bonus tip here, might be hard to see. You got a heavy house here in column six. You have one, two, three, seven, and eight. We need a four, five, six, and nine to finish these four cells. Well, if you look at this cell right here, you might see that a five, six, and nine all look at it. So this is actually a naked single four. Usually with cross hatching, it might be hard to spot that, but if you see this at this point in the puzzle, it's gonna make the solve go a little bit quicker. Okay, and now with these two fours, you can put Snyder fours in block two. And with this four, these two fours, Snyder fours in block nine. Move on here. You may have saw it at the beginning of the puzzle. You have a one, two, three, four, seven, eight, and nine. You just need a five and six. Well, with this six right here, this has to be your six and this has to be your five. Okay. And then with these two fives, you got Snyder fives here in block two. Nothing else with the fives, but with the sixes, we can do some more solving. Because with these two sixes, you can solve for a six in block three. And then uh, another thing to remember, remember we said here we needed a four, five, six, and nine. We got the four done. Now you just need a five, six, and nine to finish column six. Five and nine are right there. This has to be your six. And then this is going to be a five, nine naked pair. So we can put all that in there. And now with these two sixes, you have Snyder sixes in block seven. And then in block four with these two sixes, you have Snyder sixes right here. And we're getting closer to the spot where you get stuck. You'll need the W wing. But I want to show you a cute little uh, trick here. You might notice that the sixes are restricted to columns one and three here in block four. But they're also restricted to one and three here in block seven. So what we found here is that the sixes have to be here and here or here and here. So where can a six be in column two? Well, it can't be in block four and it can't be here in block seven. So it has to be in block one. Uh, you, some people call it the mini X wing. I've also heard the term empty column. Basically, when you see this, look up here and you know a six has to be in one of these spots. Obviously it can't be here. It can't be here because of this six, but you can solve this cell now for a six by spotting that. That's a little bonus tip for you. And then after marking that six, and this six, and the six right here, you can solve for a six in block two. How about the sevens? Well, with this seven and this seven, you can solve for a seven in block two, displacing that Snyder four. Whenever you displace it, we can make another solve right away. And then we can actually solve this for a two to finish block two. Continuing on with the sevens. With this seven and this seven, you'll notice the sevens are restricted to two spots in block nine, but they're also a pointing pair. 
since they're in the same row, a seven can't be anywhere else outside of the block in that row. So you can't put a seven here anymore. It means the only place to put a seven now in block eight is right there because of this seven. Awesome. And now after doing seven and block eight, you might see with this seven and these sevens, Snyder sevens in block four. Okay, moving on, getting close to tip number two. Let's check out the eights. With these two eights, you can solve for an eight here in block eight. And then with these two eights, you have Snyder eights here. And you might notice the threes and eights are on top of each other. Whenever you see this, you have a hidden pair. Basically, the three and eight are restricted to the same two cells. So nothing else can be there. That is your hidden pair. And if you look down here in block six, these two eights, you have eights right there. And then if you go here in block nine, with these two eights, you have the eights right here. What you might notice again is we have another one of these mini X-wings, right? The eights are restricted to columns seven and nine in blocks three and six. So, you know, eights gotta be here and here or here and here. That means you can't have an eight right there or you'd run out of spots, put the eights in blocks three and nine. So we can actually solve this cell now for another eight. And now let's move on to the nines. Get the two spots for nine in block two, where we already found that. And then in block seven, with these two nines, you can put Snyder nines here. And it's time for tip number two. So tip number two, you'll want to look for the W wings after trying all the easy and medium strategies. Uh, these are more common, they're easier to spot, and you get a, many more solved cells by trying the easier strategies. You need to reduce the possibility as much as possible to get to the spot where you need the W wing. And I cover all these strategies that you've seen, these hidden pairs, naked pairs, pointing pairs, in my free Sudoku solving guide. So we're going to go back through, see if we can get some more easy solves. Uh, with this two and this two, you actually have a pointing pair of twos here in block one. So the twos can't be in these spots. So we can solve for two here in block three. And then that will displace the Snyder two. You solve this cell for a two, and then we're gonna have Snyder twos in block nine. But you'll also notice that the twos can only go here in block eight. So it's a nice two, three naked pair. And so twos gotta be here and here, or here and here. So now we restrict the twos to one of these spots in block seven. And since you already have a two in the column, you can solve that cell now for two. We displace the Snyder 2, and you can solve this cell for a 2. So these are all easy solves, still making those restrictions as we move along. How about the 4s? Now, where can a 4 be here in block 1? With these two 4s, only place for a 4 is right there. That'll give us a nice 5, 9, naked pair. And then this 4 and this 4 cutting across, you have a pointing pair of 4s in block 7. So you can displace that 4 put a four right there. And then you might notice there's only two possibilities left in row three and in block three. So we wanna mark that as a five, nine naked pair. And this is tip number three. So tip number three is you wanna mark as many bi-value cells as you can because W wings require two bi-value cells, at least two bi-value cells. And those are cells that have only two possible candidates in it. So this is a bi-value cell. This is a bi-value cell. So start marking those. When you know the puzzle's hard and you're gonna need a W wing, you wanna start marking those cells. So let's start adding some of these BVCs as we go along. So in column eight, you might see we have seven candidates filled out. So this has gotta be a three to five, okay? And we can do a little bit more solving here. As you get over here, see a heavy house here, one, two, three, four, and an eight, you need a five, six, seven, nine. In column three, well, you got a five, seven, nine. That'll all look at this cell. So you actually saw this for a six, displacing the Snyder six. It's all that cell for a six. All right, so we're gonna get some of those other easy solves there. And we're getting close now to find the W in this puzzle. Before I reveal my last two tips, I want you to know you can keep your mind razor sharp as you age. I make monthly puzzle packs for Smarty Party members. What this means to you is you can practice your Sudoku skills and learn new strategies. And the real value is that you can sharpen your mind and keep it sharp. Did you know that adults who solve Sudoku regularly have the brain functions of someone 10 years younger than themselves? Click on the pinned comment 
to join the Smarty Party now because you want to keep a sharp mind as you get older, right? Okay, let's do some more filling out here. Column one, you have a heavy house, so you have at least five digits here. One, two, six, seven, eight. We need a three, four, five, and a nine. So three, four, five, nine. You'll see a four and a nine right there. So that's three to five. Okay. Can't have a nine here because it's a nine in row seven. This could be a three, four, five, and nine. Look here in column two. You got a one, two, four, six, seven, eight. We need a three, five, and a nine. And you'll see because of the five in row six, that's going to be a three, nine. And then the nine here in row eight, that's a three, five. So you also have a three, five naked pair right there. So we fill this out. Now it's a tip number four. You want to look for matching by value cells in different columns or rows. So for example, you know, you see a five, nine right there. And then you see a five, nine right here. You know, this isn't the same row. This is a different row. So there's a possibility those could connect and make a W wing. I'll tell you, whenever you have naked pairs like this, they will not form W wings because there's no way to connect and make the eliminations. But these are the things you want to kind of look at. You know, this 5.9, you want to compare it to that 5.9, for example, or to this one and see if there's something, the way you can connect those. Because we've got to find a way to connect them either with a conjugate pair of one of the candidates or the other way I'm about to show you. So we look here, you got this 3.5 and 3.5, those in the same rows. The 2.3, there's nothing that matches. However, let's look right here. You got 3.5 right there in column one and block four. And you also have a three, five right here in column two in block seven. So now we can look to see if these will form a W wing. So what you need is two identical by value cells. Get the three fives here, yep. And you gotta find a way to connect them. The normal way to connect a W wing would be a conjugate pair of one of the values. A conjugate pair means just two of a, of a candidate, okay? Either within the cell or and two different cells. So only two possibilities. So you want to look to see do these two things see a pair of threes or a pair of fives. So you look over here where they could connect. And you'll notice, well, there's a cell right there filled out. So that can't happen. You could look, you know, in some of these other columns, but you see they're all filled out. So that's not going to work. Other ways you could kind of look in this column, it, it doesn't, doesn't match up. Uh, the threes, fives are not restricted enough for you to do the match. In fact, you have a three right there. So the other way you can connect this, and this is my tip number five, is you want to check for the connector. So an easier way to spot W wings like this is you'll notice you have a three, five here, column one, block four. You have a three, five, column two, block seven. Look in the third column of this three block tower or shoot in the third column. You want to look right here. You'll notice that one of these two values, the three, is possible here, but the other, the five, is not. This is another way to connect these two cells. This is a W wing delta variant. What you have to see is if you try to put a five in both of these cells, because no five exists here, you have a, a pretty quick problem, right? Because no five there, no five there, no five here. You wouldn't be able to put a five in block one. We know then with certainty that one of these cells has to contain a three. And the way you know it's a three is because that's what the value is right there. And so what you can do, since you know at least one of these is a three, is you can eliminate a three from any cell that sees both. These pop up all the time. It's this nice shortcut I'll see. I'll just look here. Look there, look to see if one was available. If so, I found a W wing, and this is how to find them effortlessly. And remember, after I show you the eliminations here, we still have to solve these blue cells. And I'll explain that once we solve them, why they are so important to this puzzle. So with these threes, you can eliminate a three from this cell because it sees both. And you can eliminate the threes from these two cells because they see both. Awesome, and now you see we can make some solves here, and we're going to get to see what the values of the blue cells are. This has to be a nine now, all right? And then we'll remove these colors, and we'll get to solving and see if we can get to those blue cells. Once this is a nine, 
we're going to get some pretty quick solves. That's a 5, that's a 9. That's a 5, and that is a 9. All right, so far so good. And then with this 5, this is your 3. That's your 5, and that is your 3. Okay, and with this 9 right here, that means that this has to be a 4, 5, displacing that 9 or 9. I can actually remove some of these marks right there. Whoop. We'll go back, we'll add the values, and we'll get rid of the Snyder marks. But since this is a 4 or 5, you know you can solve that now for a 3. The only thing left, whoops, across here. My mouse is playing tricks with me. That has to be a 5, right? And so now you can disambiguate the 9, 5 right there. Looking good. And then what else can we do with this 3? That's got to be a 2, 3. Always try to gobble up those marks. That's one of my favorite parts of solving is when I can remove marks. Need a 5, 7 right there with this 5. That's got to be a 5, displacing that Snyder 7. Okay, we have a full house right here. Only thing left in row 6 I don't see is a 3. Now you can disambiguate the 8 and the 3 right there. Now what can we do? You'll notice we just need a 7 and a 9. Well, with this 9, that means this is your 9 and this is your 7. And so now we filled out all the green, well, we filled out all the blue cells, my apologies, 9, 5, 7. So what you're looking to do in the puzzle pack is you're going to compare it to the values in the other puzzles. One of these three digits that you'll see, every puzzle has a three blue cells, matches a distance that the Wright brothers flew on their first day of flying when they flew the airplane in 7 17 1903 you can find all those distances you compare it to it's part of the puzzle pack i give you those facts along with the whole story of how they got that first aircraft the right flyer airborne but now we know this is a nine five and a seven so let's move on and finish the rest of the puzzle okay with this eight you can displace the snyder eight Saw this cell 4 and 8. This place in the Snyder 4. This place the Snyder 7. This place the Snyder 2. And then with this 4, that's going to be a 4. And our last digit is a 5. Now see if you can spot the W wing delta variant in this next video. Thank you so much for watching.